Hey everyone, my name is Amar, and today we're making some Japanese curry. Our protein of choice for this meal is going to be sirloin steak. I chose sirloin because of the marbling and it's easy to cut into cubes. They're not too big and they're not too small. Once you're done, put them inside of a bowl. Season your sirloin with salt, sake, soy sauce, black pepper, and sugar. Mix this all by hand and place inside your refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now let's get the rest of our ingredients together. We're going to start by cutting up two apples into small square slices. You can kind of cut them into whatever shapes you want to, but I just cut them into squares. We're adding apples here because apples are sweet and they add to the mild flavor of curry. Also, I just like apples. Once your apples are cut, add them inside of your bowl. Gather four carrots. You're gonna de-skin all the carrots and then cut them. We're skinning these carrots specifically to remove any kind of outer bacteria or any kind of dirt that may be on the carrots. Once you skin and cut your carrots, add them to the same bowl where the apples are. Get three potatoes, skin and cube your potatoes. We're doing a medium cut here. Lastly, thinly slice your onions. You can choose red or white onions. I chose red because they have a sharper flavor than white onions. Now that all of our prep work is done, in a large cook pot, add vegetable oil along with some sesame oil. Allow your oil to warm up before placing a few pieces of your steak inside of the pot. When your steak pieces are sizzling, the temperature is ready for you to go. Add the rest of the cubes inside and brown. Once the steak is browned, remove from the pot. Afterwards, add your onions. They're going to cook until soft. After about seven to 10 minutes of cooking your onions, add your apples. Once your apples are cooked, then you can add the carrots and the potatoes. Remember to season your fruits and vegetables as they are cooking inside of your pot. After about five to seven minutes of you cooking your carrots and potatoes, cover them with water. You want to fill the pot up with water just to cover the vegetables and fruits. Once done, place the lid and let boil. After about 10 minutes of boiling the components of your curry, add your beef back into the curry. We're gonna let our curry sit for about 30 minutes. Once everything is boiling and coming together, remove some of your water and place inside of a bowl. Here, you can use your curry blocks to add into that removed water. I would then stir it with a whisk. Slowly, the curry block is going to dissolve into the water. By doing it like this, you're preventing your curry block from clumping inside of the pot. Instead, you're creating somewhat of a slurry to add directly into the water and create a very smooth and consistent liquid to add back into the curry. Once your curry begins to thicken and look more like a curry, let it sit and simmer for a while. 
you're going to have all the flavors combine. After about an hour or two, you can remove your curry and plate. And there you have it, some nice, simple and easy Japanese curry with a little bit of a twist. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like down below and comment. What was your favorite part about this dish? And what do you want to see us pick next? As always, there are other YouTube videos on our YouTube page, Tamago and Friends, where you can watch us make things like orange chicken or banana bread. My name is Omar. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye. Boys, we have a traitor!